always one to take my own advice. I have had quite an adventure in networking of late. I have joined more professional, social, and civic associations than I ever need to, I think. And I have glad-handed more folks than I ever want to. And I've given out more business cards than is environmentally responsible. But I did it uh, in service to a good cause. And that good cause is being able to report from the field uh, what is happening on the networking circuit. So I learned a lot of things, but there are five things that I think are really important. And the first is that companies are still hiring. They're doing it cautiously and quietly and very slowly, but they are doing it. They're doing it out of necessity because there are some key positions becoming vacant uh, that you know, through normal attrition or through competitors poaching, uh, for whatever reasons, they are finding that there are key positions that they must hire for. Companies are also finding that there are positions that the economic downturn has created, uh, positions that they would not have needed just, you know, a few months back, but nonetheless are finding themselves in need of. And the positions exist uh, as contractors, uh, and they also exist for full-time employment, and they're mostly mid-management to uh, mid-level management to supervisory, but there are some service level, entry level type positions that must be filled too, particularly if you have sort of a retail business or some sort of a service business that deals directly with a customer. So that's one, people are still actually hiring. The second is that it is officially a buyer's market, just like the housing market. Now, what you might have gotten with a bachelor's degree will take a master's or some amazing skill set or a lot of years of experience to get you know, a, a, the same job you might have gotten just a few months back. And right now, for less money in a lot of cases. Uh, that's not as positive as the first, uh, first bit I learned, but, you know, it's reality right now. So, you... If you want to, to get the job of your dreams right now, then know you're going to have to be spectacular to stand atop the pile of, you know, potentially 8 million of your, you know, closest competitors. Uh, since there are a lot of people unemployed, very few open jobs, and very few employers who are um, able to pay the top salaries they could pay yesterday. You know, yesterday. Uh, the third... Uh, is that misery loves company. <laughs> uh, that's not new, but it is something that I am learning out on the, the, the networking circuit, is that people aren't being miserable, they aren't out complaining, but they are you know, not feeling great about themselves, not feeling great about the economy, and so instead of sitting at home and feeling bad about themselves, they're getting out and networking. Where I used to be you know, one of maybe five or six people who come out on a Tuesday night to go to a restaurant or a bar, people were showing up in droves. And they are pitch happy, outgoing, and, and you know, very excited to be there. Uh, so get out there. If, you're, if you are worried that you're going to be the lone ranger out there or worried that you're not going to want to talk, trust me, they'll talk to you just in case you might be a lead to a job. Uh, the next, the fourth thing that I've learned is that uh, nonprofits are becoming bigger fish in this smaller pond. Uh, even in, in the wake of government cuts to funding, nonprofits seem to be doing very well. Uh, most of the uh, open jobs that I've encountered and that I've become aware of through my networking of late have been with nonprofit or social, socially responsible enterprises. Those organizations are getting their funding from a variety of sources, including uh, private donors, so they've been able to kind of keep the engine going. They're hiring and they're being very competitive. Uh, now they can choose from a variety of, of talent and they know that they're going to have to pay for top tier talent. So if you had stayed away because you thought they couldn't pay enough, go back. The final bit is that uh, it's build a skill time. If you were to build a bear, now it's build a skill. Uh, this is the perfect time if you're, if you're unemployed to spend your time you know, reading a book, taking a workshop, taking a class, doing something to enhance your skills so that when the economy does rebound and as uh, employers have to fill these key positions, you're in line. You, with your new economy skills, whether that's technology, international experience, uh, customer service, information architecture, user experience design, whatever it is, um, you need to be ready with that new tool toolkit as soon as the hiring opens back up.